Hello everyone, this is Manoj. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will talk and discuss about JSON. What JSON is, how we can use JSON in our application and why it is important to know about JSON. If you are a web developer or if you are a backend developer, then you have to have knowledge about JSON because in today's real world, every programming language or every programming application is using JSON only. There are some applications who are using XML, but most of the cases in most of the applications, developers and engineers are using JSON only. So in today's video, we'll discuss about JSON. So before going into the technical part, let me show you some details about JSON. What is JSON? JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. It means JSON is built on JavaScript. So whatever content you will write in JSON object or JSON array, that is a valid JavaScript object. So before uh, knowing about JSON, you must have a little knowledge about JavaScript. I hope you have aware of JavaScript. So again, JavaScript JSON is a lightweight data interchange format. As I said, JSON is a very lightweight object which you can transfer over the server or over the web applications, right? To push data, to pull the data. Again, it is a plain text written in JavaScript object notation. And JSON is used to send data between computers, between servers, between web applications, and it is language independent. It means you can use it with integration with PHP, .NET, Java, Ruby, Pulse. All right. So why we use JSON? JSON again is a very lightweight. We can transfer it to any server with any language, with any uh, without any platform and dependency. And we have two inbuilt methods of JSON. One is JSON.pass another one json.stringify i'll tell you uh, the actual implementation in these two methods parse is basically if you have a json uh, object in string format then you have to parse it and then you can use the key value pair in your application and if you want to send a json object to a server then you simply use json.stringify then it will convert that particular object into a string and then you could transfer that object to a server as i said json contains the values in a key value pair you can say name value pair or key value pair like this name john so this is our key this is our value now comes to data type. So JSON have these data types. It could be a string, it could be a number, it could be object, array, boolean or null. All right. So this is about some little introduction about the JSON. So now go to VS code. So here I'll tell you the exact implementation, the exact object, how we can create a JSON object. And I'll tell you a real world, a real example of industry, how we are using um, the object or JSON object in my project, in my own company. All right. So let's create a file, name it users.json. So here, so first of all, you will start an bracket. So here you will start curly braces. So here name it's a manoj. So this is an object. Now if I go age 29. So as you can see this is a JSON object. All right. Basically, this is a JSON array, not object. This is an object. This is an array. All right. So if you want to make a list, then simply you again go down name and age 30. So you can see this is an array of objects. So this 
particular array contains two object one is this another one is this so let's create another file index.html so let me quickly add some html text so json tutorial and inside the body let's have a script tag type should be text java script So let's go here. Let me copy the entire object, paste it over here, place it inside any variable, let's say data. And now try to log this console.log data. Let's make it a little cleaner. So I'll save this. Now if I try to run this file into the browser then we'll try to see what it logs into the browser so if i go to localhost double five double zero this is the port number and if i open the developer tools and go to console so you can see we have an array of two objects one is name Manoj is 29 another one is name Deshwal is 30 so you can see this is how we can simply use our array object so now this is a very simply implementation if I try to go there so this is a typical kind of JSON object so let me copy this entire and let's say if I paste it over here let me delete this and paste this save let's go to the browser again so if you see we have 10 objects inside this an array and if I expand only one the, the uh, first index then we have another array this is the address array this inside this address we have a geolocation and we have a company array all right so this is a kind of typical array and you in most of the applications and most of the you know programming languages you have to use this kind of array you you cannot use a very simple array like this you could have but in most of the cases you will you know uh, counter the typical kind of arrays the very complex objects so now let me also tell you how we can access these objects okay so if I go to the statement console.log and if I try to access the zeroth index it means the first object save this now you can see now we can only see the first index let me open both of them side by side so that it would be easy for us the moment I placed zeroth index so we can see we are able to see the zeroth index object so now what we have in this zeroth index we have address we have company we have other direct properties on the root so let's say if I try to access the address only then you can see we got only the address object from this particular JSON so now we are able to see only the address properties all right now again if I go to further so if I address dot then we can see we are getting all the properties whatever we have in this address object city geo location let's say if I try to uh, access the city then you can see this is the city this is the city name and if I again 
try to access uh, let's say address so okay we don't have any address over here so address dot let's say zip code so this is the zip code so this is how you can simply use your object json object inside your applications now let me also show you how you can easily see your how you can easily read your json object it is also uh, available in very neat and clean uh, you know format to read but again there is a website if you type json viewer so uh, this is the first website json viewer.stack.hu so if you click on this and if you paste your object over here and go to viewer so, so by this you can see how much objects your json contains so in this case we have 10 objects so if you expand this so by this you will see what is what properties are on the root what pro what objects are inside this particular array so you can see in the zeroth index we have id name username email these are root web properties we have an array of address we have an array geo inside this address we have a company object all right so this is how your first index containing json data same way you have second object you have third object all right now this is about how to read and how to access your json object now let me change this object to the previous one i need to show you the json stringify and json parse so we are using a simple object now just for your reference if i click this and let's say json dot sorry json dot stringify save go to browser so you can see this is your object in your string format all right if you want to see then it will be available for your uh, string format to send over a server over a web application all right so now again if you want to extract these values from a string then again you need to parse this inside let's say const new json is equal to let me copy this let me now here console dot log new json save so we'll see the same object now if i try to access anything from here in this so we will get error because that is string that is not a json format okay so now if i want to ex let's say if i want to extract this name property or let's say zeroth index properties then i need to parse this json dot parse new json and now if i try to uh, access the zeroth index now we will able to see the zeroth index so now we are able to see the name manoj is 29 this is on our first index and if i try to dot name only save so you can see we are successfully able to get the manoj value from this name property all right so this is how you can use you can implement your json object you can read you can write json object you can use stringify pass in your application
so this is about today's video i hope you like this video if you did so hit the like button share comment and if you are a student or if you are an intern and you are looking for a project for your company for your uh, college assignments so i do the paid service so you can contact me on my instagram my instagram handle is open programmer you can also find this in my channel description so i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching take care bye bye